The colonel explained to me that, one, this was Alaska's room, and that, two, she had a single room because the girl who was supposed to be her roommate got kicked out at the end of last year, and that, three, Alaska had cigarettes. Although the colonel neglected to ask whether, four, I smoked, which, five, I didn't. He knocked once, loudly. Through the door, a voice screamed, Oh my god, come in, short little, you short little man, because I have the best story. We walked in. I turned to close the door behind me, and the colonel shook his head and said, After seven, you have to leave the door open if you're in a girl's room. But I barely heard him, because the hottest girl in all of human history was standing before me in cut-off jeans and, jeans and a peach tank, tank top. She was talking over the colonel loud and fast. So the first day of summer, I'm in Grand Old Mine Station with this boy named Justin, and we're at his house watching TV on the couch. And mind you, I'm still already dating Jake. and Actually, I'm still dating him, miraculously enough. But Justin's a friend of mine from when I was a kid. So we're watching TV and literally chatting about the SATs or something. And Justin puts his arm around me, and I think, oh, that's nice. We've been friends for so long, and this is totally comfortable. And we're just chatting, and then I'm in the middle of a sense of analogies or something. And like a hawk, he reaches down, and he honks my boom. Honk! And once you do for him, two or three seconds, honk! First thing I thought was, Okay, how do I extricate this claw from my boob before it leaves permanent marks? And the second thing I thought was, God, I can't wait to tell the colonel to kill me. The colonel laughed. I stared, stunned, partly by the force of the voice emanating from the deep, but God, curvy girl, and partly by the gigantic stacks of books that lined her walls. The library filled with her bookshelves and then overflowed into waist-high stacks of books everywhere, piled haphazardly against the walls. If just one of them moved, I thought, the domino effect could engulf the three of us in an asphyxiating mass of literature. Who's the guy that's not laughing at my very funny story? She asked. Oh, right. Alaska, this is Pudge. Pudge memorizes the wor people's last words. Pudge, this is Alaska. She got her boob honked over the summer. She walked over to me with her hand extended, then made a quick move downward at the last moment and pulled down my shorts. Those are the biggest shorts in the state of Alabama. I, I like them, Baggy. I said embarrassed and pulled them up. They've been cool back home in Florida. The colonel explained to me that one, this was Alaska's room, and two, she had a single room because the girl who was supposed to be her roommate last year got kicked. Ah, 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 ah.